especially knowing now what our goals are and what our next steps to resurrect our friends are, this episode being called Putting Everything on the Line makes a lot more sense. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 2, Episode 9. Last episode, Aaron or Aryun let us know about a fairy tale, which I'm almost positive is about Milam, that has the possibility for us to reincarnate our friends with our, their souls intact thanks to the multi level barriers that are, are surrounding the city. It's about a 3% chance, they said, in all, so very slim. But if anyone's going to do a 3%, it's going to be Rimuru because Rimuru's a legend. And so we're going to kill all of Falmouth's forces and become a demon lord. So that's interesting. I have to find out what happens. I say we hop right on in this episode. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description like always. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 2, Episode 9, Putting Everything on the Line. Let's do this. Chaos Dragon. That is super sad. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, because you know I'm wrong all the time, but is Veldora Tempest one of four true dragons in the world that they said? Like, that's how amazingly powerful he is, and we know he's incredibly powerful. Because the Chaos Dragon was a double of her father, is her father one of the other true dragons in the world? If so, it makes so much sense why Milam is as strong as she is. Also, I want to see some of these dragons in action. Like, it's insane. They've been hyping them up so much. <laughs> They're just eavesdropping outside. Jesus. Look at my girl. Look at my girl. Everyone's watching this meeting. This is a meeting with all of the Federation. Man, that's a throwback. See, I miss the happy-go-lucky days when all we worried about was eating magicules and finding ore, you know? And then Veldora gave us the gift of sight. As long as we came back to visit him and didn't weren't terrified of him. Look at how dope Veldora looks. See? That's so dope. Oh. See? They gotta show us the good times. I love reliving this shit. Even Geld. Orc Disaster. The Lizard Men. Everything. We've made so many allies and companions over the time, you know? I agree. So we will do whatever it takes to get them. I feel you. Very heartwarming. I think they know that, though. I think they know you only have their best intentions at heart. I like how blame's not being passed around. They all think it's their fault. I don't like how they feel guilty, but it's good that they feel guilty. Shouts out Benny Maru. Being a real one. See? I'm glad they're all taking responsibility, even though it's truly, like, none of their faults, you know? Akaro setting the record straight. He is the oldest and wisest of them all. Yeah. Uh, you being a former human is not going to change the amazing things you've done, you know? <laughs> you guys are supposed to be quiet. You guys are all cheering outside. 
Let's have a revamped rules, you know? That's what our goal has been. I, I like that goal, but it's difficult, you know? That's crazy. We're going to be the bridge demon lord between humans and other Majin. That's crazy. It is very idealistic. We're going to be a different kind of demon lord. If anyone can do it, it's going to be Rimuru. Oh yeah. For sure. Nothing's going to stop that. Communication is the key that solves everything. As Thor said in Vinland Saga, a true warrior doesn't need a sword. I was going to say, Rimuru can probably handle this all by himself. That's the big thing, not holding back. Rimuru has limitless potential. I understand why you feel that way. Sometimes you gotta learn a lesson the hard way. Make sure it never happens again. <laughs> you need not worry. Any of you to hold back. This is a different ball game than we've done before. You'll get a rematch or what? Oof. I hope you do get a rematch. Shouts out Hakuro. You're about to pop off. I want to see Geld fight too. That's actually kind of dope. Okay. We're gonna replace the barrier that's messing with their powers and abilities with a different one. And we do know Mulan's good at making barriers. That this one's gonna be a good one. Element of surprise. Getting ready this very moment. Woo! Yuma's sword is so dope. It's a good question to ask. Where Clayman fits in all this? Yep. Okay. Is he not a true demon lord? Because he is demon lord Clayman, right? I thought. Hmm. I think he's going to play a bigger role. Good. He, Rimuru did say he was going to keep all the other demon lords in check, so <laughs> I'm excited to see that. I like how when they upgraded a Dragonutes, they just look like different color Dragonutes. Lizard men, but Soka looks like hot now. But, you know, they are powerful. And it's dope that they can fly. Got a little platoon of Dragon News coming in to wreck havoc. Benny Maru alone. He's easily more than enough to handle these guys. We got Shogo, Kirara. He's asleep, and then, um. Damn, I have Kyoya. I have the last one. I have the last one's name written down, too. Gabta, Geld, Hakuro, Rigor. 
Please, please unleash your wrath upon them. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love how the mask has a crack in it too. Oh, that's the end? Son of a biscuit eating bulldog, man. I'm heated. Well, this was more of a setup episode slash getting ready for the crazy moments to come because I know there are going to be crazy moments to come. And we ended off in a fire spot. We are taking out the four different locations surrounding the, the city with the magic items that are keeping this barrier intact. But in order to replace that barrier, because we need to make sure the, the souls don't go away, we have Shuna and Mulan holding up their own barrier, which I, I like and I respect, especially because we know that Mulan's good at doing that kind of stuff. And sh she, uh, Shuna is just amazing in every aspect but i love the teams that we assembled to take out each individual area and then we have rimuru himself handling the the vast majority of the forces so i know it's gonna go down i'm excited i'm excited to see demon lord rimuru that just sounds crazy to say oh i don't even know if i want to talk about i just want to keep watching there's so many good moments that are going to be happening i'm so excited can't wait to hop into it I do love the uh, the guilt share that they all felt. They all felt responsible for this, even though it's truthfully none of their individual faults. Like, I, I, I kind of like what Hakuro said, you know, like collectively we were just too negligent and weak. And, you know, they all have areas that in which they can improve on. And I always respect that. So um, I'm super excited. I'm about to hop in this next one right now. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes or get full length, check out the Patreon. Links are down in the description like always. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Peace out, Dapper School.